Hey friends, it's Sonia. Let's go to Goodwill. Are you coming? Daily weather check. We've got lots of rain. Rain. I'm gonna lie, it's been a few weeks since I've been thrifting, so I'm pretty excited. The parking lot here is pretty full. Like there's a lot of people here today, but it is Friday, so it's Friday. Everybody's out and about, probably payday. You know, I'm enjoying some personal time after work. I bought sandals and painted my toes orange and it got cold. This weather may have been my fault. Surely they have to have new stuff on their shelves by now. I think we've given them plenty of time. So let's start here. I have missed you. Big pillar. Oh my gosh, she's cute. She's cute. Okay, she's got a bit of an odd, we're gonna call her one of a kind smile. Oh, she's got a chip on the back, I think. Or is that just, no, it's not a chip. I think it's just a part not painted. So, if you're somebody that looks for unusual faces, from this side, I don't know. Maybe her lipstick's running. What do you think? Buck 99. Oh, you are darling. You are cute. I think you're a wine maybe bottle holder. Super cute. And we've got, oh, look at that flower back there. I have purchased flowers like that. I think these are salt and pepper shakers. And I'm not sure what you do with the two little pots. Maybe they just match. They've got a few chips. $4.99 is what we're looking at. A little dish. This is cute. It's got a few chips as well. I don't know. I'm going to try to be a little more picky um, and buy stuff that I don't have to do paint jobs on or anything like that. So let's just scout for things if we buy as is that requires no additional effort um, or fix up. My boundary. I cannot take on projects. All right. Let's see here. Or at least projects that I do not have planned. $2.99. Ooh. All right, what do we got down here? What do we got down here? This looks like a candle holder. $4.99. It's got bats. Look at his smile. His pearly whites. He's kind of fun, isn't he? $4.99. Remember that I at very minimal double my money. So I'd be getting into $10. Which, it's possible, you know. Let's keep picking. This dish is gorgeous. I can't tell if that's a crack or a hair. It's a hairy dish. We should call her Harry. Really pretty, it's got a marking back there. $2.99. Okay, I'm gonna blow on this hair. Will it go away? Oh, it went away. I think that's really pretty. What do you guys think of that one? I think we should nab it. I think it's gorgeous. Very pretty for spring. And a mouse. What are you doing? Oh, that's cute. I think it's one of those flower, um, wall flowers. Yeah, wall flower. This guy is cool. I like his gold. I thought at first he was an entirely ceramic piece, but do you believe that's cologne? says unicorns don't exist. Right. Flower section. That table's new there since I've been here. I know it's past the time of the bunny and the egg. These are just so cute for $2.99. I love the color. Just that muted antique color that they have. So warm. It's, yeah, they're little eggs. They're so cute. Oh, it's a little family. I wonder if these all came together. There's no eggs. This feels like it could be spring. We've got the umbrella. It doesn't feel seasonally, you know. I'm gonna take this one. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna get my Etsy shop going again. I've gotta stop at the 
printers when I'm done here and pick up, boy, aren't they pretty? And pick up um, some prints that I'm waiting for. I've been working on a whole new artwork section. You'll see my new prints come to Etsy as well over the next few days. I like this fox. I think he's maybe a homemade paint job. Isabel, $3.99. I think it's kind of cool though. I do like what you did as Isabel. What do you guys think? It looks very geometric. I think I can get eight dollars for him, no problem. Yeah, let's put the fox. The fox is in the cart. You got a monkey. That one's actually made of plastic. We got resin. Let's go back here. This area freed up. Tell me if you see something. If you see the $100 million piece. Pineapple. Pineapple. That would make a cool ring. I love rings like this. But I think this is actually a uh, napkin holder. It's a ring for your napkins. There's the rest of them right there. Mm, this guy is missing the little glass bead. $1.99, somebody's been here. Lifted the tag. Well, look at you. Back there relaxing. That's a cool piece of art. I do like that. It is canvas art. $9.99. Boy, wouldn't that give a pop a collar? You got an elephant, you got a giraffe. And it looks like a cheetah. Cheetah or a leopard. And then there's one piece behind it. Zebra. Somebody had the whole collection going on. Oh, I like this. Can I paint on this? This would be fun because it's round. It's really interesting. The back is torn out. $6.99. Too much. It is a Scrabble letter board. There's the letters, $4.99. End cap. This one appears to be the green one. It's a pretty piece of pottery, $2.99. It's got a bit of a mess over it and in it. So, I'm gonna say no thank you. The bird, $3.99. Just a little holder. More green things. Well, oh, that's so cute. 100th anniversary of the teddy bear. Five dollars. Oh, look at a little teddy bear. She's cute. Wait, what is this? I have never seen one of these roller skates. I'm gonna look this up. I have sold and found and sold many Fenton shoes. Or Ellie Smith, I think, is another maker of them. But the old glass. Is this old glass or is this a replica? I gotta look this up. That's fun too. Squirrel, look at this. I think this is one of the watering bulbs that you put in your, um, what do you call it? Flower. <gasps> Look at these little guys. Looks like they were stuck on something at one point. $3.99. Cute little ducks. Alright, let me see what I can find out about this guy. Okay, I'm back. And apparently that the vintage pink glass roller skate is a real deal. And they're collectible. I'm seeing one right now going for $24.99. This is $2.99, so it's definitely in my wheelhouse for things I would take a chance on. It's cool though. Have you ever seen one on roller skates? It's been a bit of a pinky, pastel kind of pick. Oh, but I do have this box over here. It was being all foxy and orange. So yeah, that is so cool. I'm excited to actually show this one to Max. I've never seen this in the wild before. Yeah, this is a thing. Pretty amazing. I'm out here learning every day. All right, let's start by the middle section. That's a cool treat. I do love that artsy flair of that tree. That's cool. Just not interested in buying anything Christmassy. 
big pumpkin. Feels a little seasonal right now. Uh, toilet paper holder, always good for every season. What else we got here? Butcher fly. Eh. That's a cool hanger. It's got a little tree on the top, so it must be like maybe a bulb hanger. But honestly, the shop owner and me is like, I could hang things off of all these little, little limbs. You know, would it fall over? These are the questions I ask. It's Batman. Batman. I should get that and put that above um, one of Stanley's favorite windows. It's the cutest thing. He sits up on in our office on the file um, holder in front of the big window and he looks out the window and um, he just watches the birds and there's a school behind us. We watches the kids, but at night when he gets up there, it's hilarious if you see him, he looks out like he's like watching the area and he, he is Pat Cat. Pat Cat to the rescue. Keeping an eye on things. What happened to you, buddy? I think you're missing your nose. Stanley the Bat Cat. You know how when you're looking at the back of a cat's head and its two ears stick up? Oh my gosh, so darn cute. Stanley the Cat also has what I call a fuzzy coconut head. He's like really, really fluffy. He's got, he's a Maine Coon, so he's got all the fluffy hair. Oh. Love my boy. That's cute drawn to this pattern. It is a, uh, yeah, it's a, say it with me, photo album. It's cool. It's good, in good shape. There's a whole bunch of photo albums here. I miss the time when we used to print photos and put them in albums. I was a big scrapbooker. I haven't done that for quite a few years, but I did do that quite some year, many years and I loved collecting. Oh boy, look at this. That's a fun frame. The back is missing. But look at that. Look at it. Oh, I love those big gold frames. Always drawn to them. I am. I am drawn. Oh, by the way, color of the week, pink, week off is pink. Okay, cool. Um, I like that they put the sign back here too because I get back here and you know, you get so, you're so excited to get back here. Look, there's hair. There's even a wig here. Look, there you go. You never know what you'll find at Goodwill. You can also find your collagen right here too, right below it. But yeah, I've always been drawn to gold things. I love chandeliers. I love really, really ornate gold stuff. So I don't know who I was in a past life, but I definitely, I know what I like. Snoopy. I like you too. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, that looks like a lot of fun watching cartoons in that fuzzy chair. This right here, say it with me if you're a furniture painter or you know, could make the most amazing furniture paint job. And it is because even if it is plastic, no, this is actually wood, um, but this just lends itself so nice to a redo. Doesn't have a price. Doesn't have a price, but really pretty. Looks like there's the headboard too, and the nightstand. All right, friends, I just realized my camera might have been really far away mode. All right, now we're close. We're close together. $15 for that. That's cute back there. $7.99. Those little half moon stands. Love them. What is this? We have a little purse. Cute. Look at her. We got some keys. Craft keys. And then look at this. What is this for $50? It's too much. It's missing the thing. Missing the uh, little latch there. They want $50 for it. I mean, I get the novelty of it, but I think they overpriced it. Doesn't want to open. Okay. My guess is it's probably little shelves inside of it. That stores maybe liquor. It's cool, but I don't know. 
What are you guys thinking? For me, it's not $50 cool. All right, friends, with that, we've got a few pieces. Not a whole lot, but I do love what I do have. I love that a lot. And we had a lot of fun too, so that's what I love, getting out. And um, like I always say, no expectations. Whatever happens, happens. So I'm gonna make my way to the front. It is Friday night. I'm gonna get this vlog up for you guys. We are hanging out with friends and watching um, Matt's cooking supper or having dinner and a movie together. So I will see you guys again probably tomorrow. Check my other channel, by the way, as well, the Sonya Miller channel, because I'll be going back and forth between my two YouTube channels. See you tomorrow.